Greetings everyone and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Karina from the Boho Abode and today I'm excited to share another DIY home project with you and that is my faux fireplace right here behind me. I love the way this turned out and it was actually pretty easy to do too. So I'm excited to share with you how I did it. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this project. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and don't forget to like this video. Let's jump into it. Before we actually dive into this project, I wanted to show you the materials that I chose for it as well as explain why I chose some of them. So let's jump into the paint. Velvet Finishes did supply me with the paint supplies that I needed for this project, so shout out to them. Thank you so much for that. This is the Velvet Finishes by Kelly Smith Furniture Paint in the color Luxurious, and this is a beautiful black furniture paint. I'm also going to be using the Velvet Finishes Satin Poly Acrylic to seal and protect the paint. We'll need a couple of tools and hardware. So we've got a utility knife, a tape measure, an electric drill with a Phillips bit. Um, I've got this little pack of screws I had laying around. Um, I think they're about 3 fourths inch long with a flat top. Um, this piece is very important. You're going to want L brackets and I bought this pack of four that also comes with the screws in it. Uh, this is two and a half inches by five eighths inch and this fireplace will not stand on its own. It will get heavy so it needs to be secured into a stud in the wall. So these L brackets are going to attach the top of the mantle to a stud in the wall. Um, I've got some wood behind me here. Uh, this piece here is a 21 over 32 by 12 by 72 paint grade FJ panel. And I chose this one because it was the cheapest 12 inch wide, one inch thick piece that I could find that was also long enough when cut down <laughs> to cover the width of the fireplace mantle that I already have. And then over here, I have two of the 5.22 millimeter 2x4 Laun plywood. And if you have a truck or a larger vehicle, you could just get the uh, 4x8 of the very thin plywood. Um, the reason it needs to be thin is just to keep it light. <laughs> um, but my car is very small, so I got two of the 2x4s, and then because this stuff is so thin, I just cut it down to the size that I needed with the utility knife in a carpenter square. And we just need the wood to be big enough to cover the inside of the fireplace opening. And two more items, one of them being peel and stick tiles. Um, I would not go with real tile for this just because of how heavy that would get. Um, these peel and stick tiles are already kind of heavy. So if you wanted to go lighter, I think like a contact paper would be really good for this. Um, but I found these ones, I really like them, um, and they're super easy, just peel and stick it right on. And these, if you need to cut them, can be done with a utility knife. So the final item would be just a fireplace mantle and surround. I got mine on Craigslist. I think, and I could be wrong, I think I paid $100 for it. I bought it years ago. It is solid wood. I've had it this whole time. and. I'll go ahead and give you a quick look at what that looks like and then we are going to jump into this project. So of course all this stuff is going to come off of it, but this is the fireplace mantle and surround that I found salvaged on Craigslist and it is solid wood and I already have the uh, velvet finishes luxurious paint on it and it looks gorgeous. The first thing we're going to do is attach the thin plywood to the back of the fireplace mantle. And to do that, we're going to use the small screws.
that didn't go exactly as I had planned. I think I need to buy a new battery for my drill, unfortunately, but now it is time to get this piece flipped over so that we can start painting. Because I'm not going to be leaving any gaps with the tiles, I'm not going to be grouting or anything like that, I'm only going to be using paints along the outer edges of the square just to conceal where the tiles end and the wood of the surround starts. And all of this piece right here is going to be getting painted, so I'm going to jump into that now. Thankfully, this paint dries super fast, so we're going to be jumping into applying the tiles very soon. So now I'm just waiting for the paint to dry and like I said this stuff dries super fast so within the next 20 to 30 minutes I'll be ready to apply the tiles to this piece and the sealer to that piece so I guess I'm going to go watch an episode of The Office and then I'll be right back here with you. I'm back the episode of The Office is done and the paint is dry so first thing I'm going to do is apply the tiles to this piece so let me get this one moved out of the way and we can start peeling and sticking. on this piece and I'm going to give everything a little bit of time to dry and adhere and then I'll be back to start assembling everything to the wall.
much for taking the time to hang out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to chat with you again soon. Bye.